Again, I'm going to sound perhaps a little simplistic and corny, but research and clinical experience show that to find satisfaction in life, once one's basic needs are met, of course we have a lot of people in the world who are struggling at that level, but it's living up to your values. And that's where we have the difference between guilt and shame. The person who experiences shame worries about if they'll be caught. I took this when I shouldn't have. Did anybody see me? Am I going to get in trouble? Are they going to consider me a bad person? That's shame. If you feel like, you know, as long as nobody saw me and thinks badly of me, I'm fine with it. If you took something when maybe you shouldn't have and you feel, I've really disappointed myself, that's not who I am, I have to think of why I did that, that's not the person I want to be, that's not, those aren't the values I hold, that's guilt. Mm -hmm. It's not what the other person thinks, it's what you think. It's a big distinction. You're saying guilt is your, I'm confused, Hold on. guilt is you're worried more about what you think versus shame where you're worried about how you appear to others and yes. how that will damage your mm -hmm. reputation or something. shame is do i look bad mm -hmm. guilt is do i feel bad because i didn't live up to my own values if you have done something to someone where initially you felt shame over what you did uh, and didn't want to get caught for having done that uh, and you want to make amends to them. Mm -hmm. Isn't, um, I was told by my shrink that the better space from which to operate in that effort to amend is from a space of guilt because mm -hmm. you're thinking about how they felt and how it impacted them versus, you know, getting caught or how you appear. So you're more other or you become also more other oriented or other focused. That was my translation of what he was saying, but yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I think that's taking it another step because I see the first step of guilt is I feel bad within myself. I didn't live up to my standards. And mm. then you might think, did it have a negative impact on somebody else and reflect concern about how the other's feeling in contrast to concern about how the other sees you. Those are two very different perspectives in relation to the other. Right. Do they think I'm bad? Do they, you know, did they catch me in something? That's very different from thinking, oh, did I harm them? Mm -hmm. Now, as we talk about shame and guilt, you can feel both shame and guilt. The problem is if you only feel shame and do not feel guilt. Mm -hmm. Why does that become a problem if you only feel well, shame? Well, it might. <laughs> If you only feel shame, I mean, it might be a, not be a problem from the individual's perspective. They might be happily antisocial. If you feel shame but not guilt, then I would say you're not functioning with an intact moral value system. Because that's interesting, and you're not because you only you, you only care about how you appear. Got it. So then you're also saying uh, shame and antisociality are linked in the sense that you only care about how you appear. appear. Yeah. Does that mean that people who would be identified as antisocial feel shame or not necessarily? It, one well, is sort of leads you to a disconnected space from others. If we're talking Each, about yeah. if we're talking about antisocial, it's really a focus more on a lack of guilt than a presence of shame. The okay. antisocial person is not capable of guilt. Whether or not they feel shame is another thing. If they're brazen enough, they might not even feel shame. But antisocial is lack of guilt. Possible experience of shame, possible, I don't give a damn. I see. J and just one side question. If an antisocial person who has a semi-antisocial personality disorder diagnosis feels shame, do they have a better shot at some level of improvement versus those that don't even feel shame? I would assume yes, but maybe yeah. shame can't necessarily be transformed into guilt. Well, at least it's a discomfort. So um, let's put it this way. The shame implies some relational element to the emotion, mm -hmm. whereas lack of shame, it's like 
the relationship doesn't even count for anything. I don't care what that person thinks about me. If you care what that person thinks about you, at least there's a little uh, germ of a relationship there.